Look at that. It's a cover or a thing. This goes through it. Pulls it in there so it doesn't pop out. If you want a hole saw, a hole that big, or one that will bolt to your roll bar. Or the way I got it, or the way I'm gonna do it. I had a hole right there already in my dash. So I just gotta run these wires through that hole and then put this in the dash and then tighten it down with this nut. So it should be pretty easy. And then run power, ground, and remote wire. That's what these are, ground, see? Power, 12 volt, and remote for the amplifier. So, and it's literally right here, so I could just run this wire in there, like I have, run these wires in there, and then run this right here into my fuse panel, bam, bam, bam. Run this to the amplifier, then I gotta run I'll probably do green because that's what color my rock lights are. So I got a ground. Let's see here. Oh, this one. So the blue remote wire that I'm going to use will go to the black wire. So that's positive. And then just ground the green wire to like right here or right here. Somewhere. Somewhere right here. And then just run one. Let's see here. One, two. Three wires to the front. These three. Run these to the front, and I'll just run it right here on the roll bar all the way down on both sides. One on that side, and one on this side. I took it home last night. Did awesome. Girls sat back here. Their heads were not even close to these speakers. So. That's a plus. That was awesome. I was pretty excited about that. So, yeah. I'm gonna pull my dash out. I had a wrench. I must have put it on the toolbox. I'm gonna pull this bolt out, pull the dash out, run the wires, plug it all in, and see if it works. So, stay tuned. So, there it is. So now I just gotta run my speaker wire. I got the remote down here. I got the RCA's uh, batteries hooked up. Ground is hooked up. Hooked up. Uh, what else? Anyway, I'm gonna run some speaker wires. From here, across, and then down. I gotta take this off. Or I wonder if I can run that into the stereo. Oh, maybe I'll blow it up. That's just a speaker too. I don't know, I'll try it. See what happens. See if I can just run this to uh, the stereo. If it does work, sweet. And I can just gotta run this wire through that hole though. I don't know if you guys can see that back there. It's a metal tube that goes down and comes out under the dash. So we'll see if that works. So hang in there, almost done. Looks like I haven't done anything, but I got the wires ran. I just ran it across this way and then down <laughs> now I'm gonna run it down that one and it's not gonna fit in that conduit like I was thinking I was hoping so I'm just gonna have to run it on the inside of the conduit you'll see like right right in here so it's still somewhat hidden but you'll still see it if you look hard enough so and then I got it ran all the way to there as you can see. So I'll just run it there and down this bar. So, yeah.
Looks good. I don't think this one looked that good. Kind of hard to see because it's daylight, shop light. So the difference in the... I got it hooked up. It's working awesome. You can barely see the wires. Uh, but, but I got like, it won't start now. Oh yeah, it will. But it wouldn't start and I was like, oh, well, at least I have a stereo to kill time, you know? So look at it. My wire is loose on the ignition is what I found. Right, yeah, this yellow tab one, look at that ignition, it's loose, loosey-goosey. So I'm gonna tighten that up and that cure all my problems. But anyway, I don't know how long, how long I can let you guys hear this for, but let's see if we can find a different song. This is a good song. Turn it up all the way. But now I'm gonna tighten up my ignition and uh, hopefully, I want to run up by the lake somewhere just to see if it's pretty loud. It, it's loud. It's really loud. It's louder than the little JBL speaker I had right there, so. I'll get back here. What's up, who? Look at right. that. Look who's here. Yeah, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> I was like, gonna explain where I was for a while, and then I was like, nah, I'll wait till Sean's here. It'll be more fun if Sean's here. <laughs> Uh, no more sick cat. Yeah, no. So, yeah, obviously I've been gone for a while. You haven't seen me in any of the videos because, well, for one week I went back to Wisconsin for a family reunion. And that was cool. That was a lot of fun. Got to see a bunch of fun people and my family and all that. And then I came back. I worked for like two, three days. And my guts were like feeling really bad, like too much beer and cheese. Like, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Well, now I do know what happened, actually. Uh, so, last week, Wednesday, I was, like, feeling really bad for, like, a couple days in a row. And uh, call, make a doctor appointment for, and they can't get me in for, like, a week. I'm like, whatever, okay. Ride it out, see what happens. And then I get off of work that night. I'm driving home, and all of a sudden, my guts were, like, severe pain, like, in my kidney area. And I was like, oh, this is bad. This is really bad. I'm, like, going cross-eyed and... I pull over and it's not getting better. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, get back in the car, drive, go, go to the ER, get out, go in there. They do a scan and yeah, I'm passing a kidney stone. And in addition, my appendix is all like swelled up and about to explode. And so about an hour later, I was immediately into surgery. <laughs> they took out my appendix. They left the kidney stone uh. and, uh, yeah, so then for the last week after that, I've been sitting on the couch and sitting around doing not a lot. Recovery. And then, uh, well, anyways, finally yesterday I got cleared by the doctor to come back to work. So here I am. Yeah. And, yeah. and he got cleared to go back to work and then we were, we were closed. Right. Because we are working this weekend. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, we're actually heading off to Grand Junction uh, today to go hang out. To Beck. Colorado. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Quebec, Quebec Colorado. <laughs> See, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Lost track of days. Uh, Been off for two weeks. Yeah, yeah. So but, there's a, a sweet mud run that Rory puts on or goes to or whatever. I don't know what exactly what's going on, but... Yeah, in Quebec, Colorado. All we know is we're going there to help with the mud run. 
Yeah, we're gonna be like running timers yeah. and uh, we're tech inspection, which is hilarious. Oh, yeah. you're not qualified. <laughs> but, uh, Super stock is gonna be like highly modified or what do you call it outlaw class yeah outlaw class. yeah that's what we're gonna do <laughs> yeah everything's either stock or outlaw yeah. <laughs> there's no middle ground uh, that's like blowers with nos and yeah the cool stuff they're yeah. gonna be going against stock cars so anyway we got a little bit of time before because that doesn't happen until this evening yeah so it's morning seven. on a friday right now yeah yeah so we figured we'd uh do a little work on get, our stuff get a couple footage of Mikey and the camper. A lot of you guys are wondering where the camper was, where Mikey was. So there it is. There it is. Now you guys know. Literally nothing happened. I didn't want to throw it out there and then, you know, it's, that's Mikey's thing. Yeah, but yeah. This is coming along. It doesn't move very <laughs> fast, but it does move along. It's like a giant snail. Yeah. So what's your plans for today? I'm working on the floor. So I'm getting some little pieces going across everywhere to support the floor and then rory and i were just talking we finally came up with a solution for my walls so i'm having trouble because i don't have like vertical studs every 16 inches or whatever and so my thought was okay get the floor and have wood right up to the edge right yeah and then i put two by twos vertically on a proper spacing so that i can use four foot panels for the walls right and then put up pegboard with all the little holes in it yeah and then spray insulation like <laughs> the expanding foam into the peg so it won't like bubble out the wall because the yeah. holes will let it come through yeah. and then i can fill it in and i can know for sure that i got every square inch of it insulated insulated and then i can just shave off the surface and make a nice flat something to paint on done and then if you really wanted you could even like put little hooks and pegs and whatever yeah wherever you need them and uh coat hangers coat adjustable hangers. coat hangers yeah all yeah, kind of stuff because yeah. turns out you need to hang stuff up when you got a camper because there's not a lot of space not a lot of space so anyways that's the genius idea rory and i just came up with to uh even how on to the, handle roof? the walls yeah same thing on the roof i could even just yep same game like because it's pliable, like it, it bends pretty easy. Bends so pretty easy, it'll, it'll go, go around the corners. Yeah. And then I have, um, from our favorite fireworks person, Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Uh, she gave me this real thin, like veneer stuff that's um, real pliable. And it looks kind of like a marble countertop. And so that's going to become the surface for some of the walls and ceiling possibly as well. Mm -hmm. So nice. thank you very much. Um, that's all I know. That's, that's all, all we know. That's all we got. I'm just gonna be here recording Mike and then just hanging out. Sweet. Because I think I'm caught up on most of my. Junk. Yeah, you got like you've been. Oh no, no 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 no! The Yukon took a doo doo on me. Oh no. Yeah, Tuesday? what happened? Was it Tuesday? Wednesday? It overheated, right? Yeah, overheated. Thermostat is shut, closed, and it won't open. So the way I found out was there's no more heat coming out of the vent. Oh, so it's not <laughs> circulating. Maybe the uh, yeah. impeller fell off your water pump. Yeah, like my other one. <laughs> like the Lexus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Never seen before. Now it happens to everything you own <laughs> yeah. in one month. I hope not. But I'm going to throw a thermostat in it. And then fire it up and it should be fixed. Right on. But yeah, we'll be in... Tibet, Colorado, all this weekend. Nice. Except for Sunday. Yeah, Mikey, Sunday, I got so other plans. Yeah, it's oh, by the way, another factor of where I've been, it's also elk season, and I've been sick. <laughs> <laughs> sick of working. Sick of working. <laughs> uh, shoot. Okay, bye. bye. Check it out. Oh, gosh. I'm dirty. Anyways, um, I got this new sound bar from Rory. He upgraded to an MTX sound bar type thing. And so I got the old one and it's really nice. And so I'm really excited about it. I'd love to play it real loud for you, but that's uh, not a thing. So I had to add this bar just so I had something to mount it to. But what's cool about it, it has a little dome light. I know it'll 
help a little bit. And then other upgrades that happened, I reinstalled my cup holder. That thing had broken loose and uh, it was really less fun when you don't have a cup holder. And so something that was really cool about this whole install that I think went really well was I just added a positive and a ground to one of these circuits that was open on my switch panel. So it made adding a whole nother system super easy, super clean. And I could just beep, turn it off or turn the whole thing off. And it's really cool. The uh, code for ledsupply.com, that's where you get this. And side note, I took this thing to the mud bogs and this got straight bombed with mud and it's fine. Didn't do anything like everything. There's still a lot of, a lot of mud around. I mean, I washed it for hours, but that doesn't mean much. Um, but anyhow, it took it really well. Like being right there, getting all the road debris right on the switch panel and it was fine. So thank you guys at Code 4. I really appreciate it. That's really cool. Um, I originally intended to work on the camper, believe it or not. And then Sean talked me into installing a sound bar. So yeah, there it is. That's what I did today. Today, I'm gonna pull my dash out. That speaker quit working, that one works. I think it unplugged up here, my RCA. So I'm gonna pull the dash out. I tried getting through the firewall, but it's just not gonna work. So I gotta pull this bolt and that bolt and same thing on that side and that side. Take a couple seconds, but let's see if I can pull this out. Yeah, that's what happened. As you guys can see, it's unplugged. I don't know when that happened, but I got to figure it out. Now if I plug that in, let's plug this in. In theory, it should be way louder than what it was because now I got two speakers. But that came unplugged and I don't know how, but anyway, it's back together. I'm gonna put the dash back in. I gotta pull these lights off because getting that bolt that's right back here is pretty hard without the glass and the or the glasses in the way to do it so it's just easier to pull the, the light off so you can lift the glass up just a little bit so that's why i pull those ones off so i'll put the dash back in and record it so you guys get to see what i have to go through every time i pull the dash not much it takes a little bit longer there we go. Get it all lined up, make sure it's in there, and put the bolts back in. That's it. Then before I tighten those two down, <laughs> I always gotta come on this side and then put these two bolts in because they gotta line up just right. 
So I unplugged that side, it was still on, and then I unplugged that side and it was still on, so they're both working now. So I still gotta ground this wire. I haven't done that yet. Just gotta put a little loop thing on it so I can have some light. Just like that. It's cooler at night. But anyway. Yeah, so there it is. I'm gonna bolt the dash all the way down, put the lights back on and call it good. Have a good night.